Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Much different kind of beer review today, but I am absolutely pumped. Uh, today we are checking out from Pabst Brewing Company, Heilemann's Old Style, a classic lager <laughs> per the can, established in 1902. So why are we drinking Old Style? Uh, this come this beer comes courtesy of my beer BFF, my BFF in life, Mr. Nathan Ryerson from Behind the Bar. Uh, he and I, we actually used to do a podcast. We haven't done a, an episode of that in a while, but... Um, I've always talked about, I'm a big, huge baseball fan, and I have talked with him many a times how one of my bucket list things to do is to visit Wrigley Field, and I want to. I wanted to drink Old Style in the bleachers at Wrigley Field. Talked about it a bunch, um, and a couple weeks, uh, it's probably like a month ago or so, he was out in the middle of somewhere, like Alabama or Arkansas or somewhere random, and he drunkenly FaceTimed me and said, I'm, <laughs> I'm at a liquor store, and they have Old Style, and I'm going to send it to you, and bitch, you better review one, so... Uh, we're going to review one. Um, I don't know. I don't know the eight. What does it say the ABV on here? Let's see here. Highland Brewing, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, sixteen ounces. Does it not have the ABV? It doesn't. Old World. What does it say? Old World Method, Choice Hops, Sparkling Pure Spring Water. I mean, it's a lager. What, what is this like? Around five percent, maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. How dare you, old style? Um, but yeah. So this is going to be fun. Let's check this out. We finally get to cross off old style. Drinking old style. We still have to make it out to Wrigley Field one of these days. It will happen. So we're going to use our behind the bar glassware because I miss behind the bar beer reviews. Um, this beer is not available <laughs> in California. So I don't know its availability, to be honest with you. I'm not sure where exactly you can get this. I mean, I know it's Midwest for sure. Holy, I just washed this glass and there's bubbles everywhere. Hold on. So yeah, um, I'm not sure how many people have had this that will watch this. I don't know what the deal is. If you're in California, you got to trade for it. <laughs> you have to buy it on. Maybe you could buy it online somewhere. Who knows? It's old style. Uh, it's crystal clear in the glass. Looks a little bit darker on camera, but it looks like a lager. Uh, finger of bright white soapy head. Super fluffy. There's a bunch of bubbles in that glass that you can see. Looks killer in that behind the bar glassware. <laughs> I'm so excited. Show my nose in it. So this has like a musty smell to it. That's crazy. Um, it's got this cool, like crisp. I mean, it it smells like beer. I talked about that in the uh, we reviewed Modern Times Ice last summer. That beer is awesome. This smells like beer to me. This smells like high school. It smells like doing keg stands in someone's garage. It smells like holding a solo cup in your hand. But there's like this. It, it is. It's like this musty kind of dirty thing that I'm smelling. Um, it's got this cool, like it's like a lemon zesty sort of a thing but it smells um it smells wheat like wheaty not weedy but wheaty like it smells like either like whatever like rice or like corn smells like like just think of if it smells it smells like that <laughs> it smells like fucking beer i mean they say they use choice hops it, this doesn't smell hoppy like an ipa or anything like that there's a little bit of like a sweetness too so let's go ahead and chug this thing <laughs> Nathan, cheers, bro. Uh, it's not very flavorful, but this is a beer. I imagine myself sitting in center field at Wrigley Field on a super humid Midwest summer day, absolutely pounding these beers. There's not a whole lot to it. There's a little bit of like a, that sort of lemony limey thing that we smelled. It's sort of there, um, but it's really, it does. It's like, musty is a weird, it's a weird description, but it tastes musty. It tastes, I don't even know how to describe it. Almost, it almost tastes like wet, uh, <laughs> like how wet cardboard smells. It kind of tastes like that. It's weird because when you, like when I was thinking back now to like Modern Times Ice, I was like, oh yeah, this is what beer, you know, it's what I remember beer smelling like and tasting like, but those beers actually have like, they're pretty flavorful with whatever hops that they use. This, I mean, it just tastes like carbonated beer water. 
<laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It's fucking old style. They've been brewing this since 1902. Um, this was a fun beer to drink. I will gladly drink the rest of this. Um, it's it's a crusher. Like, like I said, you could chug this. It's very light on your palate. Um, it's bubbly. It's ritzy. I know I, like, I can't really describe what I'm tasting because there's not a whole lot there to taste other than that musty kind of wet cardboard thing. Like, that's what it is. With like a little bit of, there's like a little bit of like earthiness to it. Um, tiny bit of like that lemon lime thing that you're smelling. I don't know what that is. But yeah. <laughs> it's beer. It's what it tastes like. So, like I said, I imagine myself sitting at Wrigley Field on a hot summer day and just absolutely just pounding these one after another. That would be good times. It's going to happen one of these days. Maybe it'll happen with Nathan. Who knows? We'll see. I got to make it to Chicago one of these days. So uh, that was old style. I'm glad I got to drink this. It was fun. Um, I for sure would drink this beer again. It's one of those things. Where it's just for me as a baseball fan, knowing like its place in history at Wrigley Field, this is a beer that I'm glad I got to drink. It's good times. So uh, that's old style. Highland's old style from Pabst Brewing Company. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. This was so fun to do. Nathan, I appreciate you, my, my brother. Uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Nobody liked the fuse so I could bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.